Determine the reactions at C and E, and P is 500 pounds. All right, well, let's take a free body diagram through what we're trying to find. Okay, so we'll just sneak right under there at E and then cut through the pin at C. All right, well, you can see that the uh, pin at C will have two reactions because it can't go left or right. And in this particular case, I'm going to assume CX is to the right. Just kind of my common sense that I can kind of see that with these two loads out here, uh, that um, whatever type of connection we would have over here at C, whether it be bolted or whatever, that those bolts are trying to be ripped out of the wall. So we need something that pulls that joint back to the right. So that's why I'm going to make an initial assumption um, in that direction. Okay, and then of course we have here our CY value. And then CX, common sense would tell me that the wall is going to be pushing back at E. Okay, so we'll call that EX. Now again, if you don't understand why I assume those directions, don't worry about it. You just make an assumption. And if you get a negative sign in the answer, you just change the arrow. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, well, since we have two unknowns up here at C, let's go ahead and start by taking moments about C. All right, so we have, uh, over here at B, we have 2P. So let's see, that's 2 times 500, because P is 500. And the perpendicular distance is 4 feet. All right, then out at A, we also have positive rotation. And that's 500 pounds at a distance of 8 feet. Then down here at E, we have a negative rotation about C. And the perpendicular distance to that is 4 feet. Okay, solving for EX, we get 2,000 pounds. And we did get a positive value, so my guess was correct. All right, now forces X or Y would be, would be next, so I'm going to do forces X. So we have CX positive and EX is negative. Therefore, CX is equal to EX. So you can see we got a positive value here. So to the right was correct. Then lastly, for CY, we'll do summation of forces in the Y. So we have minus 500 at A, minus 1,000 at B, and plus CY. Okay, therefore CY is 1,500 pounds. And we got a positive value, so upward was correct.